All right, class. Um, this video will start a little bit different. I'm not going to have myself on this on this video because I believe the information that I'm supposed to share with you guys is a little bit more important than seeing my face uh, over and over again on these videos. So we're going to go ahead and get started. We opened up the first week's lab or first week's content module, and we opened it up, and I have not yet created the lab assignment just yet, but um, this is what we're going to be working on this week. We want to uh, get you guys situated so we can go ahead and create our very own website. How exciting is that? So let's go ahead and um, go ahead, and we're going to be using something called infinityfree.com. It is, is a free web hosting service, and also includes a lot of the stuff that we're going to be re re uh, requiring, such as file trans transfer protocols, FTP, what we call. Uh, you'll find that in this, the C panel. And I'll be showing you step by step on how to create your account. Uh, if you've already used this account, uh, used this, in, this app application before, then this is going to be quite simple for you guys. But if not, not to worry. We'll go ahead and get started. Another thing we're also going to be using. Um, I recommend using coffeecup.com. Um, this is your IDE, and more specifically, this is for your editor. And you can be uh, using HTML editors to, um, of course, insert your code. And we're going to be using those sheets so you can be saving and upload them to the FTP on your cPanel of your uh, sh host sharing service. Um, so these are going to be working hand in hand. You can also use other editors. I believe the book mentions and uh, note, Notepad++, which is completely fine. But this is just takes a little step extra simply because the HTML editor give, allows you to create sheets on the fly. And um, later on in the semester, we'll ask also uh, learn how to uh, migrate whatever you're working on the editor and then upload it simultaneously when you uh, hit save and uh, <clears throat> be able to view, make those changes and uh, being able to view them and I want to say real time but it's not really real time but um, but we'll kind of go ahead and, and 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 continue all right all right so we mentioned before here infinity free I signed up already you can use your STC account um, email so you can get your verification information and of course then uh, be able to log in okay so first thing you do once you are you're in infinityfree.com will be to create an account and here in bright purple I'm gonna click it just in case yes since it's free it works a lot with ads so uh, just bear with me trying to walk this minefield here of of uh, of ads and we're gonna go ahead and create our very own URL our URL is what uh, is the address that it designates and so when you type in for instance uh, southtexascollege.com etc etc your URL will, will direct it to to the website and so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna create our very own website and so I encourage you guys to select a domain that's gonna be catchy and personalized and of course I'm gonna want to identify you as you so uh, preferably I would have to ask you to to uh, use your name as as a uh, uh, as an identifier for this particular case I mean now you can go ahead and uh, beyond this you want to create one that's that is uh, more custom to what you're liking then of course uh, you can change the name but let's see this is just an example I'm gonna put Juan Tijerina and I'm gonna use a domain extension because for you know after all this is free but it'll help you get through um, creating a free site without having to put any out-of-pocket expenses now if you want to create a custom domain name that is a, a little bit out of our scope but it is possible you can create your domain name you can pay for it I believe it's like 12 or 24 dollars depending on how popular the domain is or let's just just for the sake of argument put let's see what want to know what want to hit that combo look like so um, Let's check the availability first. Oh man. Okay. Well, regardless. Okay. Let's go back to the subdomain and put quantity in and check the availability on that. 
Great. So it is available. So now if I can scroll down just a little bit, I can create a username and password for that account. And then, of course, I'll hit create account in order for me to start making my own website. Um, I already have one created, so I'm going to go ahead and hit the back button real quick. Or the home button will take me to the home page as well. And once again, apologies if this uh, it takes me a little bit longer to navigate through this computer, having their recorder and all it's running at the same time. Okay, so I have an account already created, Professor Tijerina, et cetera, et cetera. And that's where it becomes a little bit interesting. Now, if you're just creating your very own account today, right now, then uh, you may find yourself having to wait a little bit. Um, when you go to your control panel or once you hit your home button, back to the home screen, once again, I apologize for the minefield of the ads. But then again, you know, we are working with free software. And um, I have never had any glitches. I use this particular program for my graduate class production of, of websites and I have had no, no issues but beyond that. Now, um, if you don't mess around with it for three or four months, they may come back and ask if you to, you know, still continue having your service. If not, then of course, let it go and, and you may have to start over, you know, if, uh, if you don't visit it regularly. Once again, this is just for this whole purpose of creating a website for our class here this semester. Okay. So now we're there, we're here, and where important things you may be able to find is your very own static IP address here. It'll populate, it'll let you know once it's available. If it says pending here, I mean, um, you may have to wait a couple of minutes, maybe hours, maybe days. I'm not exactly sure how <clears throat> how the, the system picks it up and, and creates a virtual space for, for each and every one of you out there. But uh, see, I have created one already. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my control panel. Once I'm in my control panel, then I'll be able to uh, view some special All right, some special uh, preferences, files, databases, set, domains, etc. Okay, so um, this this is very important when you're working on your your site. This is your back end, your back end meaning uh, if you're gonna have a database later on, this is where you're gonna be able to access your database here, PHP admin or creation tables in in the first place. But this may also help you in your advanced uh, website design or your advanced database classes. So I may I want to keep this uh, just for your record of of being able to expand your website into perhaps the uh, advanced portion and also implement databases later on. Um, <clears throat> this is all perfectly perfectly capable of running those services for you. Um, so this is your C panel is what I call. Now uh, I was wanting to show. Yes, apologies for all the the ads. I wanted to show you the um, file transfer portal call section portion of our of, of the website. This is online file manager. And once again, I'll go back and I'll highlight the online file manager is your virtual repository. Um, very much like GitHub pages and some other services you may find out there that have uh, <clears throat> your repositories. Now your repositories is where you are gonna have your files in a particular server. Now this is a server, your your space is right here in the, on, on filemanager.ai. Now this is very important because this is where you're gonna have all your files for your website. Now it is also very important and you might follow along in the book and you'll find that and you have to create and or you have to upload your files onto your HT docs. Now let me go back one more. And this of course is your home section. Clicking on home, you can't get any further back than that. All right, so all your files may be and will be stored 
in the HT docs, no exception about that. So if you go ahead and open your HT docs, you'll see here files from your website should be uploaded here. And this is very easy. You don't need FileZilla. You don't need any other type of file transfer protocols. You'll find it here. And once again, if you decide to use Notepad++ to start creating some of your your HTML <coughs> um, code, that's perfectly fine. Of course, we've gone through here through the download section of Notepad++. Download any version that's more suitable to your taste or your operating system. Um, those may vary, once again. So be very choosy about what you want to uh, Use. Now, also, we mentioned Coffee Cup is my per preferred uh, editor this semester. Uh, reason being is that here you can download the free HTML editor. This is very much free. Uh, it uh, may provide you with some templates, but I would love for you to get started with simple HTML, uh, HTML coding um, <clears throat> for the simple act of learning. Uh, what each of the tags do. Um, it's all the assignments will be required for you to display your um, code on the front end. Now, what am I? What am I refer to that is that your front end should <coughs> re reflect whatever is on your code. Now, I take it a little step further, and I downloaded Coffee Cup onto my computer. Now, Coffee Cup Editor. HTML editor, which is what I downloaded, and I started a new file, and all your files that are pertaining to HTML, as we start, should start and then uh, in with .html. If you read further on your book, uh, you'll see the reasoning behind that, but it's very particular and very um, necessary to start a new file. Here we start with a new HTML page. Let's start off with that. And it's titled HTML2. Okay, that's perfectly fine. But we'll uh, take note that we can go ahead and start from scratch. Let's start from scratch. And so this, this may be a sound a look a little confusing at first, but once again, if you're referring to the book, you'll see that some of these tags are absolutely necessary for you to get started and to identify this particular uh, <coughs> sheet as an HTML tag or as an HTML document type. So here you have an opening tag, uh, HTML, that indicates that this is in fact an HTML document. So it's going to take some headers from Coffee Cup and these are imported automatically and this uh, facilitates some of the language or some of the fonts or some of the um, uh, initial settings pr primarily used in Coffee Cup uh, to create your very own web page. Um, some of this can be deleted, but for the sake of argument, I'm just gonna leave it here in the meantime. Now you have some opening tags and you'll see in your book, uh, read it uh, about what you need to do, or what you can do in your opening tags and what just you need to do to close the tag. So, um, very first assignment on your lecture, download these programs, get familiar with them. Um, one thing that I will ask um, everybody to do is to start dabbling with the HTML document editor. Um, here I pre-planned mine and you may also follow along the way it is in the book. Uh, is this is uh, my web page? I put it on the title. The title is gonna be on on the um, on the opening tag of the page. Now, also in the body, we can just put some some simple lettering, a uh, hello world, and this is where we're gonna continue progressing and adding more pages. Like I added the second page, HTML two, and we'll be doing page three, page four, page five. And then also, once we get to CSS, we'll add a new CSS file and start editing using CSS, which is a little bit more complicated, but it will work hand in hand with your HTML documents. But very, very specifically, 
be very careful about how you label your documents. For instance, your opening document or your home page should be labeled as index.html. Now, any other pages uh, will follow suit. Uh, for instance, this particular I, uh, untitled document two can be, you know, H, uh, can be labeled as index two, index three, index four. I wouldn't recommend that. I would recommend uh, <clears throat> making your document pages as what you want to present. Later on, we'll discuss this, the following pages that, that precede that. But for the beginning, start with something simple. H index.html will create a paper or a page. Now save as. And you can put this on your your desktop, or I would strongly recommend create a folder. Create a folder that says this is for your your new your new project you'll be doing for the semester COSC 1315. I'll label it as such COS 1315. Um, and put documents there. And within it, I would strongly recommend to start labeling these pages and inserting. Okay, perfect. So we've saved the particular page onto the document. Now we're going to go ahead and continue with our file transfer FTP page. And at the same moment, same time, what we're going to do is, is open up that document location. I'm sorry. I decided to put mine and my desktop and it's a beautiful desktop because it highlights my my computer all right so we have our index document and we're just gonna simple well, I tell you what let's get rid of this document that's that's pre prefabbed okay now I'm gonna go ahead and drop in There you go. Plug and play. Draw, drag and drop. That is is as simple as that. And so now that we have our index.html, we can go and we can actually view our site from here. Now, I just left it for a few couple of seconds there, but I'm gonna go ahead and copy my label and take it up to the URL. And this is very, very simple. Of course, I did not do any any styling whatsoever, but I did plug in my URL, which is this right here label um, I strongly recommend using the text URL versus the IP for the time being simply because they said DNS works a little bit faster and sometimes uh, it's easier to route the uh, domain name versus the IP address uh, so like I said once you get once you get your IP address and your label, which is your domain name or your URL, then you can plug it in to the um, URL bar here and you'll be able to see your very own web page, right? How simple is that? Now, like I mentioned before, you can use Notepad++. You can use any other type of HTML editor. Um, although what my recommendations, I haven't had any issues with Coffee Cup <clears throat> as far as being the editor to later on create CSS sheets and, and uh, JavaScript files within those pages. I haven't had any issues with, with Coffee Cup Plus, uh, Coffee Cup Editor. So here, like mentioned before on our editor, 
let's compare. On our body tag, all we have is hello world. In our title, I'm going to set this is my web page. So let's compare. So hello world. And then on the top tag, this is my web page. So this is what I want you guys to learn is uh, once you start looking into the book, once you start creating your website, you'll start seeing how um, different little things uh, such as HTML tags come into play as far as designing your very own site. So again, um, you can practice along with whatever assignment is on the book. I believe there's a couple of tags there you can play along with. I'll create an assignment uh, related to those tags. And I would ask that everybody please turn in your URL. Turn in your URL. This is the these will be the means. This will be the means of me uh, checking out your work. If it does not compile, if it does not show up online, then I will certainly know that there is an issue with coding further on down the line. Like I said, this is uh, <clears throat> showing specifically uh, what coding we've inserted into the HTML document and successfully uploaded to the FTP server. And it is correctly displaying what I wanted it to. So without having any mistakes uh, or errors or issues with coding, it should present it correctly on the front end, which is what I am seeing here. So this is basically what I wish for you guys to start processing, start um, doing some wireframes, coming up with a topic, like I mentioned before and a couple of other in my previous um, lecture video was uh, taking some sample web pages and just get creative get some ideas like I said this will be your web page at the end of the story um, all these skills that you're gonna be attaining and um, putting into use will be very very helpful in the further development of your career and your further development of your uh, personal web or, or professional web pages like myself I do this for a living <coughs> And uh, of course, I, you know, it's fabulous when, when you get to do what you want, you've been trained to do. So uh, this is very exciting. Once again, um, if you have any issues uh, obtaining the book, once again, I did have the link on the previous or on this module. Um, and... It'll give you some very, very good, good uh, scripts. Um, and uh, I'm not going to enforce any of the current assignments from the book. But after this first week, I will start assessing some of the information from there. And I will start requiring for those items or for those uh, techniques to be used on that website and um, one thing that I have not or did not forget but I uh, have not touched on is this every time that you make any changes to your HTML editor sheet you must save and you must upload to your FTP server at any every time um, until I will we'll get to the point where We'll have these two services interconnected once we get everybody situated and uh, we follow along um, what other uh, links we must have established to connect these two services. Then um, we'll see about uh, doing real time editing for your website. So once again, if you have any questions, please revert to the video. Please reach out to our educational um, technology techs 
um, or your lab assistants, which are also listed on the syllabus uh, in section of the welcome page. So, or, you know, last case, you know, uh, worst case scenario, please contact me by email. Uh, I may be able to instruct or if you have any particular issues with uh, software or hardware, let me know if there's anything that I need to step in into and uh, help you along. Then, of course, please share that with me. Um, without any other issues, then uh, we shall see each other next week. Uh, Please be on the lookout once again for any notes or any comments on the discussion page of Blackboard. You'll be possibly re receiving notifications if that's the case. But for the time being, please read. Please get familiar with these IDEs. Um, I encourage you to explore, look at other web pages, see what elements you like to incorporate, see what ideas. Uh, you want to pursue and like I said there's no really no limit of what you want to do to your very own website as, as, as far as creativity is concerned so uh, we'll leave it at that once again thank you for bearing with me um, enjoy your evening you know uh, and then we'll see each other next time around